Hey guys, welcome to bidhitter.com. I'm do this is going to be a video tutorial on RIM. The day it had unexpected news that it was be that it will be guiding down for the quarter. So we'll be looking at this chart right here. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. You can see here this is a previous closing price. Um it was gapping down some decent volume in the pre-market and you know it was going to be in play it was gapping down to some decent volume more volume than usual in the pre-market it was very volatile so this is the type of play that this is the type of stock that we like to trade for trade with when we're reading the tape because they're very very clean as you'll be seeing on this tape and mainly we'll be watching this video are hidden we'll be able to spot a hidden seller a big seller refreshing a big bid a flash order big bid decrementing a held offer big bid holds and uh, a bid holds and a bid drops and what to do in those situations will be go we're going over how to spot them I'll be showing you on the tape so let me give you a little background on the stock rim it was about at 70 at one point earlier in the year most hated stock in the market down I don't even know how much percentage but it, you know it's in a huge downtrend the daily um, it was gapping down now in this news so Right off the open, when we spot a forty cent seller here, they should have a nice down, nice down move down to twenty cents, where there was some technical pre-market support, and also you'll be able to spot the buyer stepping in there. So that would be one play that we spot, and another play that we sellers, you know, the forty guy lifted, but they go to fifty, fifty-five, couldn't really hold it there. They sell a bunch of size, step down at fifty, and they will. At 50, and then they'll be stepping down again. We're gonna pop and then find the move lower. We'll be watching all this tape here, in the two video clips, and I'll be explaining to you what I see, when I see it, what it looks like, what they're doing, and certain plays, high probability, low risk plays for the stock. So, right off the bat, it's in a huge downtrend on the daily. It's capping down, very weak news, and the thing with this stock is you just want to stick with the trend. Trend is different. Remember that. So it was opening about six to seven percent lower. Had nice pre-market volume. Already traded about six million shares. It's not too much, so it gives you an edge to tape read, and the tape will be very clean. So let's keep an eye on this tape. Let's watch it. Let's learn from it and go from there. All right. So this is right off the open. 30, 40s. All right, keep an eye here on the 40 cent offer and see what it does there. See if it gets rejected very quickly, if it holds, if it goes lower. So let's keep an eye there. Uh, so let's pause that. Right there, you saw 40 stick the offer, a bunch of prints go through for some size and hold there. And there's kind of a decent offer there. So, so far, you know, the guy's kind of selling some. And it's pretty interesting because. That's the type of level that we want to get in front of that 40 level and out above it. Remember, the stock's in a downtrend, it's very weak. So, you saw it go back there to the 40 cent level, and you saw it go to the 40 cent level and it got rejected there. So, as long as it stays below this 40 cent level, it could test it as long as the 40 cent stays as the offer then it'll be a very good trade to get short stop above you know your risk is probably a penny a few pennies and you see a, a move down to either when there's buyer stepping in or technical support will be a reason for you to exit just can you continue to watch this so we see 36 on the offer kind of see a decent bid here 35 and it's getting hit so let's see if this guy drops 35, guy's still there, some little white prints, 36, boom, the guy dropped. Okay, so, so a pretty decent size bid stick there, and he got hit for some size and drop. So, what we first see is that, so what we first see is that there's a 40 cent seller, and then we saw a pretty decent size uh, 
bid at 35 it get hit and it not be able to hold that all right so it's continue to watch see what it does so the first short play would have been around 38 39 cents get set in front of that 40 and you see that it steps up above to that like around that 40 cent area high 39s and it can't really hold there and then now 35 with that pretty decent sized bid was can't really you know can't really hold above that level anymore so we're going to keep an eye on that and right now the tape's telling us that this is weak this is a very weak stock so let's continue to keep an eye on this 32 31 boom they get hit all right so we're going to keep an eye on this low low of the day is 17.25 and the pre-market level is 20 cents is what we're keeping an eye on so from what we saw on the chart here right it's opened here there's a 40 cent seller and we have an area here of support on 20 cents so you know first of all you got to cover your risk make the spread whatever you want to call it to cover your risk on the trades what I do and you know it gives me more it gives me a profit so if I do hit out I still make money on the trade or you know I lose very minimal and it just makes it a pretty good trade for me so when I do that, I mean, excuse me. So here at the 40 cent line, remember, we saw this this seller. We could even go back to it if you want. Um, let's, just, let's just watch it first. I'll rewind it so I can show you again the 40 seller. So I'm going to keep an eye on this 20 cents. So we should see some support, some buying. Kind of see this level start to hold just because it was a technical support. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Now, usually you want to take some off in front of the support. So you're already about 20, 15 cents in the money on a couple pennies of risk. It's a good trade there. All right, so we see this 20 cent not be able to hold and drop. So from what it looks like now, it's still weak. All right? Still weak, still weak. It's going down. But then you kind of see the bids kind of step up to 18 and get hit. All right? Kind of see them step up to 18 and get hit and then go trade lower, 15. But now we're going to watch 15 cents because, I mean, we'll rewind it a little bit. You're going to keep an eye on 15 cents because it looks like he's buying there a little bit. Uh, 19, 15. All right, so you're going to see it kind of go to 15 and not really be able to get below that. Let's see if it continues to do that. 15. All right, so you see it trade lower. 20 cents is actual technical support. It goes down to 15. And it's kind of it's not doing the same pattern where it just got hit the bids and continue to drop. There's the actually 15 cents kind of holding there, right? So we're gonna continue to watch that 19. Right, let's go to one that a little bit. Alright, so now we see those pretty decent size offers here at 19. More unusual. We should see it kind of hold. It's a technical support, you know, it broke below that, and now we should probably be seeing the retest of the level, and probably hold below this for another leg lower. I will, it will be an awesome setup to hold below the technical support, which would now be resistant. So another thing you ought to keep in mind, support level. Sometimes you breach and have a quick rebound, right? So say you're long at the 40 level with the seller. 20 cents, you need automatically want to take some off technical support. Drops down, you notice that 15 cent guy, right? Different pattern, you know, the stock continues to drop. And at that 15 cents, it's not really dropping anymore. It's not really getting hit and dropping. So you see the pattern kind of switch subs. You, so you got to be quick enough to kind of cover some there, right? So now we have the 15 cent in our mind and the 20 cent level, right? There's pretty decent sized bids earlier and the technical support. So we're going to watch is it get above 20 cents. If it holds above 20 cents, I'd get out of the play. Because that would be my tell that, you know, it might want to bounce a little bit before going lower or that the pattern has changed right see 1920 and then it starts to have a little bit of trouble of 20 gets above 20 back below starts having a little bit of trouble there but then it goes steps above and if you see 20s get hit and hold above then it's a pretty decent side to exit right so what we just saw now is it went above 20 back below so right now it still seems weak to me so but remember we're going to keep it on this 20 cent level because it's so interesting. All right, there we go. So what we just saw there, let me wind a little bit. So 20s here, kind of get hit for some size, 19, 20, 21, right? 
right now at that point it went below that level didn't really hold below got popped up took in some size and now looks like it's in a kind of reverse for a little decent bounce right so that would have been the short exit from the 40 cent um 40 cent short you know you made about 20 cents net on you know maybe five three cents of risk which is pretty decent to me all right so we're gonna continue to watch this 40 cent guy this 40 cent guy he lifted from earlier so now we're just going to continue to watch this and see what happens. See, 50 cents, a half, guy lifted too. So now this thing looks like it's in full short squeeze mode. And you just got to continue to watch it, right? Looks like it's in full short squeeze mode. And, you know, we are out of our trade. Now we're looking for a place to reestablish, right? So let's continue to watch, see if we see anything interesting for us to get short again. All right, that was interesting that 50 cent level if we look at the chart 50 cents technical resistance right if it doesn't hold above this level then it seems like there's more supply at this price and you should see lower prices right so just from the chart remember using tapering and charts and market psychology all together to make trade ideas now 1750 is technical resistance if it breaks technical resistance, it should become support and hold above that price. But what we're seeing right now is it the offer not really, you know, the bid not really holding above 50 cents, right? Gets above and gets smacked. It's just traded on this 43.44 area, okay? So that was that little video there. We're going to get back to that right now. But let me go back to the previous video to show you the 40 cent seller right off the bat, just in case you missed it. So this is again the very beginning of the video, of the very beginning of the open of this rim. So I can show you again the 40 cents in case you missed it. All right, remember keep an eye on this 40. You see the 40 kind of stick, kind of hold there. Bunch of prints, not really get above that price. Right, boom, 40 again. Now we hold above it. Got hit again, 10 cents. Right, it goes at 40 cents, gets smacked. That's interesting to me. 39 40 now you see that pretty decent size offer you saw I actually get hit for some size at 40 and it's still being rejected there right 40 again rejected five cents right so this happens a couple of times keeps getting tested keep getting tested you want to put in a short there 40 lists you know you're out you lose you know one penny if you click three if you're slow if you're extra extra slow five and that trade alone made 20 cents you know, say you did get five, which you got to work on your speed, then you made at least four to one on that trade, which is a great risk reward setup. I take that all the time, right? So now, again, go back. This 35 guy start buying a little bit. You know, we're going to see this. Boom, he drops. Now, that's just a bearish sign. We saw the held off for 40. Saw a pretty decent sized bid get hit can't really hold above it now it becomes like a little intraday level or resistance level and that was what we saw previously for us to get short at the 40 cent level and cover at the at the what's it called technical support right so let's go to the next video And this is where we show from, we just saw this little part here, right now. This little video was a 40 cent buy right off the open, 20 cent support, support, bounce back up. So now we'll be watching this tape here on what the shenanigans was here for an actual really, like really, really good entry. So we sell, see sellers stepping up there for a move to new lows and again this area here. Okay, so let's get on to the next video. Remember, this video will be about this whole area here all the way to the new lows. Okay, move this aside. Now let's start watching this tape. 35 cents, 40. Okay, so this is when right now it was in full short squeeze mode. 
from the 40 cent guy. 40 cent guy lifted. 50 cents was technical resistance, so we're going to keep an eye on this level. All right, so you see 4, 50 selling some, kind of lifted. All right, so there's a lot of strength and momentum to the upside. You don't want to get short this. Uh, you definitely don't want to get long it, you know, unless you just want to do a pure Momo trade to the upside. But, you know, you want to continue to gather information and you know, wait till an opportunity presents itself, right? So... And keep watching. Remember, 50 cents is technical resistance. And what we just saw there was a move higher. We saw a little bit of selling there, 50 cents, a lift, and it couldn't really sustain and hold above. And now it's back below 50 cents. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Still not entering a short, still getting above 50, but now you see the same pattern that was happening at 40 cents happening at this 50 cent area. Goes to 50, gets smacked. Again, 55, 53 gets smacked for 10 cents. So that's pretty interesting to me, and I want to keep that in mind, right? Is you know they're rejecting this level, they're rejecting this level a lot too. So it goes up to this 50, 55, 54 cent level, and it gets rejected. Now what do we see? Now we see this 54 kind of sticking the bid, right? You see this guy only showed 300 shares, and he's printing way more than 300 shares here. So this is what we this is what we call a hidden seller, right? This we got to keep in mind. Now we see this guy kind of selling some, and he's not really lifting, right? Fifty four. All right, now he kind of lifted, but boom, he went back. He just reoffered there, right? He went to fifty five offer. He was selling a bunch of fifty four. He went to fifty five offer. Lifted at fifty four to get you know whoever's shorting in front of fifty four covered at fifty five, and boom, went back to fifty four offer. That's Interesting to me because the seller is there. He's showing more size than he's saying, right? Then now we have 55 offer. And again, it gets rejected at that level. So now we can tell it's kind of weak, you know. It's kind of slowing the momentum towards the upside here. And this is definitely some information that we like and that we want to continue to gather, right? So now we see it get rejected from this 54, 55 area to this 50 cent, okay? See so a pretty decent size, decent size bid here for about 32,000 shares. Right now we're gonna see his big bid, and we see it start getting get hit. Right, that flash order at 50 cents got hit for a little bit of size, traded up higher as 55, 54, and now you don't really see him in the books in the level two. So that's pretty interesting. But you got to keep in mind the 50 cent guy, right? So there's a battle going on. There's a battle going on between 50 cents and 54, 55, right? And with this battle, 1750 is where the support is. So if this 1750 continues to hold on the support level, then it should probably be a long. Okay? So let's continue to watch and see what happens. All right? Again, 55, 56, 55, 54 lifted, went up to 56, 57, and quickly got rejected. Offered back down is 55, 54. All right? So this is the type of play, you know. You're seeing, you're seeing a rejection at this price up here, right? So you want to see that rejection, see that selling going on there. There's a seller there. You know, you get short, and right when the bid steps up above, you know, 55, 56, actually takes some size and holds, then you can get out, right? It, it, this is a difficult play. It's more advanced play because it's not a play where you can, you know, just have a number stop. Yeah, you could probably put a stop above the high. But you know the game, they, they might just play the games with that level, right? So you probably want to get a little bit short, right? Right here as 54, 55 seller. Maybe put a stop above, you know, the high if you'd like. But my stop when I trade this type of stuff, and when I did trade it, was to get out if the bid stuck at 55 and held some and hold held higher, right? So say you want to short a little short position here on the selling that you're seeing at this 54, 55 level, like I did. But you don't want to get a full position, right? There's still a risk of that 50 cent area holding from the technical support and the 50 cent bid. So we continue to watch and see what happens. All right, so now we saw those white prints at 54. We saw the 55 hold the offer, and boom, got rejected back down to this 50 cent level. And we see this bid here at 50 cents. It's getting hit for some size and decrementing. Now this is where you could enter for a short, right? To add to the position. You saw that 50 cent decrement you got side decrement quickly. <clears throat> so, you know, you want to hit those 50 cent bids. So once it does drop, 
you you excuse me you know you you get at 50 you don't get 55 45s right so now you have two entries on this thing you have two plans you have your 54 53 seller uh 54 55 seller and you saw a big bid get hit and drop like we saw previously on the open that's showing tremendous amount of weakness right and rim is weak it's down about six percent at this point and this is a type of play where I want to cover, I want to look for new lows. I want to see a break of 17.15, look for the next technical support for a, a rough target idea. All right? Remember, we've got to keep in mind the 17.20 level. you got to take some off 17.20 level because we saw a little buyer there and we used some pre-market support. Okay? So let's continue to watch, see what happens. 44, 43, 44s. Uh, keep an eye on this 44, kind of interesting, kind of held the bid a little bit there. Keep an eye on this 48, lifted. Alright, so you see that 48 lift, 50 cents, go back down. So now, we, now we're seeing this 50 cent level, now they're kind of stacking up the offers there. Alright, so this, there's previous level here, 50 cents, now it's kind of stacking some offers to see if it holds here. Alright. So this is the type of play, well if you get short, you could put a stop at the high of the day at this point, 58. Your risk is literally, if you added it, you know, your first short was at 54, 55, your other short was 50. Your risk is about 8, maybe less, 8, 10 cents, maybe 5 cents depending on the lot and so forth. So, you saw it go above 50, we saw some sellers at 50, get above it, couldn't hold above it, couldn't sustain that price. All right. So from that, again, we find that it's pretty interesting. So we're going to continue to watch this. And now it dropped in price, 44, 43, back to that level. And let's continue to watch. For it. Now we saw the little previous buy there get hit. It's dropping. 44 kind of dropped your bid. It gets hit, drops. 37s. 40s, 41s, 39s. Let's keep watching. 36 drops. All right. Forties. The forties pretty interesting. Uh, so we're going to keep it on this 40 cent area and drops uh, but it's pretty it's 40 cents pretty interesting as well now it's holding below the 40 cent area that you know looks kind of weak to me now I see those 35 offers those 35 bids kind of holding there a little bit 35 37 36 and the bid drops Right, so remember the 20 cent area is our technical support level. So you're shorter on the 50 cent area and 50, 54s, and you're already, you know, about 20, 25 cents in the money, risking, you know, pennies on one lot, five, eight on the other. So you have one is your core lot, one is your momentum lot, per risk, your risk reward. So we're going to see that 21, 20, like 3 level, I think it bounced off of. And again, we're continuing to watch this level here. 40, 30s. Okay, so we saw a little bid, little bid there. There we go. You saw that big bid there, like 30 cents for, I think, 66,000 shares. That I found that pretty interesting. There we go, seventy-seven thousand thirty cents. They got all got hit and dropped. So this thing still looks pretty weak to me. So don't really have a reason to cover any of your lot, right? We're going for the bigger move. We're looking for new lows, technical support level, right? So at this point, so at this point we see that big bid get hit, drop. Now they rebid above 31. That's the same thing they did at 20 cents. Right, so you got to keep in mind this pattern. 
So it went back to 30, 31, kind of bounced a little bit. So we're going to keep it on this 30 cent area because that, again, it's a level of interest. See, again, drop below and held above. So, you know, it really depends. See, 29s now. 29s, 27s, 28s. Off 30. So you want, what you want to see is go hold below this 30 cent level to be sure of your short, okay? 28, 30s, and see the guy rebids again. You know, after seeing that a couple times, not too crazy about the long. I want to cover some, take some in, and see a rejection at higher prices. In front of the 50 level, uh, 40 was a level as well. So let's see, we'll keep it on this 40 level and see what happens there. Thirty cents. So you got a quick little bounce, keeping a little short squeeze bounce, trying to shake the weak hands out. So you see, it's thirty. So you want to see it hold below the thirty for us to feel comfortable about our short positions on this. All right, and we're back to the thirty price and bounce. You know, read the tape is a real time indicator. It's not like the charts. Don't see the stuff on the charts. See in real time. You're making real time decisions on it. 3437 40 it's 40 holds see now it's holding below this 40 cent area okay so now it's about between 30 cents and this 38 and 40 area now you see a big bid here at 35 now you're gonna keep an eye on that 35 guy, right? There's a big bit 30. Now there's a big bit higher. You know, you you kind of want when you see these big bids. You know, you don't really want to be aggressively short unless you know they drop and decrement. Then that's cool. But when you see a bid bid there getting filled and kind of holding, then you know you kind of want to cover some up. But now we see it kind of getting hit, got hit and dropped. All right, so we're gonna continue to watch that. Remember, we gotta keep all the price levels that trade enough volume. It did significant information. They gave us significant information in our mind. So remember the 34, 35 level. 35 level big bid. 30 was a little buyer there earlier. 40 cent seller from the open. Okay. So let's continue to watch this. Now it's kind of holding. Now, now it's something different because 29. When the 30 cent guy would drop, it would go to 29, right? And it would go to 29, and it wouldn't really budge below that. So now we see an actual drop of the 29, and it trade a little bit lower. So as long as it stays below this 30 cent area, then I'd be bearish on the stock. Twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty-three. Now he sees. You know, it's now it's, it's kind of having some trouble getting lower. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four. Kind of holding off for there. Twenty-three. So now you see those white prints there, and the bid kind of holds twenty-three, and drops. Uh, twenty. Remember, 15 cents is our new low print, so we want to keep an eye on. Now we're at low prints. Okay. So, just from, let's just do a little quick recap midway. We saw, let's look at the chart when we do this. Right off the open, we saw 40 cents selling, 20 cent buyer in this area here, right off the open one trade idea and then again it revamped up to 1750 technical resistance could not hold above this it tried to there's a big bid at 50 could not hold above there and continue to reject it as you can see from the wicks okay but by the time you see the wicks your initial short put even here not real time up here it's not picking tops or bottom it's tape reading okay so at this point we see sellers up here 
Then we see sellers step down to the 40 cent area. We saw a little buying here on this 30 cent guy and the 29, 30 cent guy and also in this 20 cent area. As a chart flex a little bit. We saw a little pop again to 40, reject the 40 level. Sellers showed up and this is when it breaks down to the new lows, right? We saw the 30 guy get whacked. We saw the pattern change there, the buying, the 29 cent guy, and then we saw the, the previous low about 23 guy again drop and now we're at 20 cents and now we're at this previous support level 15 cents so when you're short up here right and when the, the big bid dropped at 50 cents to stop up here you want to take some off in this technical support level I'm not saying all of it you still want to hold a position but there's a pretty decent stop I mean a uh, spot to take some off to cover your wrist and go from there if you didn't do it earlier I'm not saying you no know, oh, I'm gonna hold from the bottom and cover at the bottom whatever doesn't happen you got to manage your risk at all times all right so say an average you have of 52 53 cents from the 54 53 short and the 50 short so you have 53 52 average your stop is above the high you know six seven eight cents including slippage you're already way in the money right way in the money great risk reward there so far and now we're looking for new lows. We're looking to see what happens now at the new low, the technical support, to see what happens with the stock, right? Boom, new low prints. So now we see a new low prints, saw a drop, and now we're just holding, looking for new lows, right? Now there's, you know, repeating bids on, repeating prints on the bid. We saw a bunch of sellers, and they continue to step down. The buyers that try to step in continue to drop 17 okay 17 10 17 10 kind of doing a little bit of buying there on the bid and these little white prints meaning someone's they're stepping from this actual bid which I find pretty interesting Let's see if it holds or drops and it drops so this thing's still weak from what I'm looking at 12 cents see this guy goes back to this 9 10 cents see if he holds again no and he drops oh and he goes back up alright so now we're gathering information that it continues his 10 cent guy, he drops, and as you're bidding, then there's a little bit of support at 9 cents, as you see from here. So just keep an eye on this. Now, 10 cents is selling a little bit, you see those offer prints. Now, let's see who wins here. And of course, still more selling pressure, so eight, uh, 9 drops, and now we should see it at least a move to 17. Let's see if the 17 holds this price. Seventeen oh five. All right, so you're gonna keep it on the seventeen oh two big print. Let's see if these hold, right? So again, you generally want to cover a little bit in front of the big bid, but then you saw that fucker get whacked. You saw him have size there at oh two and seventeen and get whacked. This thing is weak, weak, weak. All right, so. That could be in a spot where, yeah, you did cover a little bit of O2, but you could quickly re it and hit those 17s right when that O2 bid got hit and dropped. Okay? So let's continue to watch, see what happens. We're already at new lows, things super weak. We're just continuing with the selling pressure and staying where the money, uh, where the order flow is going. Okay? I want to see this thing kind of hold below 17, 1702-ish. Oh fours, oh fives. All right, so let's keep an eye on this 05. It's kind of having trouble staying above this 05. 17. So again, it's still weak. Bits continue. Keep continuing it hit. Two seventeen.
So you see I can't really hold above the 17 area. It's still weak. Alright. Saw some pretty decent sized bids there. And you see you couldn't really hold above it. So it's still weak. Still showing that they're still selling pressure, especially at the 17 area. So as we continue to watch, we can see we see that it continues to make low prints, right? So we did have some spots where you could have taken some off to cover your risk. And you know, you're still holding your core. There's no reason for you to cover. There's not one guy that you know stuck the bid for freaking size, hold there forever, and then step up higher. Or, you know, double check and it trade higher for you to exit. It hasn't done that. There's really no reason. There's no downtrend line that's broken. None of that shenanigans. It's now holding below 17, right? Just going up to this 95 level. 96, 97, 17. See what happens here at 17. So you get rejected, and it got rejected. So at that point, we can see it continue to trade below 17 in a very tight bullish flag pattern. See, it's going to go to 17 because you get rejected at price. Bullish flag pattern, right? Bullish flag. I mean, a uh, bearish flag. Bearish flag, excuse me. Bearish flag. So, bearish flag below the 17 area and it keeps getting rejected. Still weak. Still weak. There's still no reason to cover. Still hold your lots from above the 50 cent area. So, a big print of 94. That big, excuse me, from the 50 cent area, you're already 50 cents in the money. You have way more than 5 to 1, especially if you were risking 8 to 10 cents. Alright? So we're going to continue to watch this, see what happens. And plus, this is a $16 stock. You can get size on this thing. Very low risk. Very liquid. Trades 16 million shares already. 95s. See, 95 kind of hold and then drop. So again, it, 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 they just can't sustain a bid. They can't just hold the bid there and it's continue to show weakness. Right? Unless the bid holds, it goes above the 17, actually holds there, I don't have no reason to cover. Okay? Ninety five again, ninety fours. So just by looking at this, we're seeing that these bids go there. Can can they can't really hold a bid. You know, it's it, these seventeen level keeps getting rejected and going from there. So let me fast forward, it's the same shenanigans they do keep doing till here we go. New low print just fast forward level lows. Alright, so we're seeing here now seven this ninety five again trying to hold see if he drops doesn't hold right now getting now you're seeing some size getting hit here and pretty quickly so remember the low print is eighty eight see if it continues see if it holds at eighty eight holds above eighty eight or get a new leg lower back up to this ninety five area ninety eight 99. Oh, is it going to get above 99.17? And no. 97.96. And we get that 95 guy. Alright, so this guy in 95 is being a pain in the ass. Let's see if he wins a battle. You know, if he holds and he gets above the 17 price and holds above 17, then it's a decent. Even if he gets above 17, it's a pretty decent spot to exit. Alright, so it sells at 99. 17 that we saw previously holds about 17 you're definitely out but about 17 is a pretty decent exit so it's 95 again a guy this guy's just still there all right remember this is this pattern right now is in a bearish flag the 95 guy just dropped they're buying a bunch of size right and 88 is a low print so we're going to keep continue to watch this see if we get some momentum to the downside on that seven on that Excuse me, 88 break. 88, boom, drop. Now we should see some decent Momo after consolidating there on a bearish flag. So, you know, 
keep continue to reject the 17 level 95 buyer try to buy kept getting hit and you know we should see mo some momo to the downside 84s eighties seventy five All right, so we see it go to low print seventy five. See if it holds that or drops below. So you see seventy eight kind of selling something lifted. We see this huge offer at eighty four. Right? So now we're just you know, we continue to move down. We're going with the seller, we're going to the order flow. See a huge guy at eighty four and he just got wiped out. Right? This huge offer just got taken. We never seen a huge offer before in this whole entire tape. We saw big bids and we saw those guys get taken. But now the whole large move down of over fifty cents. Um, you know, you see that the pattern kinda changed. We saw bids getting hit and dropping, but now there was a huge offer and he got taken. Does this mean cover some? A lot? Yes. You just got a huge offer that got taken very, very quickly. Okay? So, you continue to watch this. I remember 17, I mean 75 is a low. So I believe 82, 83, 84 was the, the big offer in that area. Seventy eight, seventy seven. 77, watch 77 bids, 78. So these prints to 78, the offer stepped down to 77, and goes back up to 78. 77, let's see if it goes to 78, 77, 76, 75, all right. So we saw a little buying there, 78. Now, back to the low, now we're seeing a bunch of bids stacked, right? So if this thing drops, it's still weak. If it holds, then you know it. The pattern is kind of changing. So let's continue to watch, see what happens. Seventy-five. Big offers here. So remember, we saw a bunch of prints. Okay, so we saw a huge offer get taken very quickly. Seventy-five. Bid dropped for that size and quickly rebidded, and now it's trading a little bit higher. Now it feels like. So by watching this, that it's going to be in a short squeeze mode where, you know, at this point, if you're shorting even more size at this low, you're just kind of getting greedy. And it should have a full frontal type of squeeze effect in here. All right? But remember, all right, we have different exit prices. We should have covered some now. We saw some buying. We should have covered some when we, should have covered some when we saw some buying when we covered... Um, so a huge offer get taken, and you know our we should probably have a core at this point, which depends how you know per your trading strategy I guess where your exit should be if it should be above 17 if it actually gets above 17 just exit. Or if you see some more buying, just cover here, call it a day. So we're watching so far. Goes this 88 cent area, and I'm just gonna fast forward this. Does the same shenanigans, trade some volume there. The tape pretty much changes to where let me go this whole recap. To where it just couldn't get above below the seven uh seventy five cent area, right? It did drop for one penny and quickly bid and squeezed up higher. Then you saw some buy in this eighty cent area, right? That to me is a complete change in pattern. Wasn't like this one where it kept getting rejected at these higher prices, and there's kind of a little bit of a little bit of buying, but you no, know, it would always get rejected here. You know, you saw started seeing the pattern kind of change where there's buying and started to hold, right? So this would be an exit of a trade where you know he made one trade here, covered around this area, made another trade in this area, and you know you you just pretty much held out for you know scales here, took some scales uh, in the 17 area. Could have re-added when the 17 bit dropped. 
Then we saw his bearish flag break here, and then we probably exit in this area. And we're, you know, your core above 17 for at least a 5 to 1 risk reward trade. So that's all reading the tape benefits you on a very clean tape, like Rim did when it had news when it was in play. So let me know if you have any questions. Stop Hunter at bithere.com. If you have any questions about this video, uh, any questions about tapering in general, just shoot me an email and have a good day.